everyone, welcome back to The Wandering Witch. You may notice that some things have uh, gone missing. I got a haircut getting ready for the Appalachian Trail. Um, long hair is just not going to do it. So I cut it all off. It's a little bit cooler. <laughs> for today's video, I was wanting to focus mainly on um, like facts and history of the Appalachian Trail if you're not familiar with it. Um, and got it all written down so there's a lot of information so let's get to it. The Appalachian Trail was first thought of in um, 1921 by a man named Benton McKay. He wrote an article coming up with this idea of the Appalachian Trail. First section of the trail was completed in New York in 1923. After that, the Appalachian Trail Conference, or the ATC, um, was then formed in 1925 to help manage the trail, making sure the trail is good enough to walk on. Gotta readjust. So in 1937, the AT was then completed, connecting from Maine to Georgia, uh, which is roughly about 2,200 miles. Um, it passes through about 14 different states, so that those include Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, uh, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and finally Maine. The southern terminus is Mount Springer in Georgia, and the northern terminus is Mount Katahdin up in Maine. The trail traverses through many different towns, goes through um, so on some roads, uh, definitely through some wild lands, and some farms actually. <laughs> you, you will walk through a cow pasture or horse pasture. The trail is marked by little white blazes look like these basically. There are more than 250 shelters and campsites on the trail to help backpackers have a safe space to camp during the night instead of just setting up camp somewhere in the wilderness and potentially getting lost or injured. The first recorded Appalachian Trail through hiker was in 1948. His name was Earl Schaefer. First female through hiker was Mildred Norman, or her hiker trail name was Peace Pilgrim. She did a lot of different hikes across the country, spreading peace, basically. So hence her, her trail name um, that she got. However, the more well-known woman through hiker who did it solo, her name was Emma Grandma Gatewood. Uh, so her trail name was Grandma Gatewood. Um, She's a really cool lady, fascinating lady. Definitely check her out. There's a book written about her. She completed the AT in 1955. She was she was a, a nobo, which means northbound, starting in Georgia, going up to Maine. And she hiked it in a total of 146 days at the age of 67 years old. She not only hiked it once, but she hiked it again two years later, and then again in 1963 at 75 years of age. So again, really cool lady. She's in the Appalachian Trail Museum. A couple of her original items that she hiked with are in this museum. Super cool. Check her out if you, if you don't know about her already. In 1968, the National Trail System uh, act was pa was signed into law by President Lyndon B. Johnson, and this just was making the AT a national scenic trail under federal prote protection. And then about 10 years later, uh, the National Park Service land acquisition project began. The government was trying to uh, acquire all of this land that the AT goes through to protect it and preserve the trail. And this project started with 913.7 miles. So this will continue on through several years. The first African-American through hiker was Lori Pierce. Trail name was Tenderfoot. And she completed her hike in 1987. In 1989, the National Park Service acquired 850 more miles of the trail to protect. And by 1998, 2,000 miles of the AT land had been acquired 
and protected by the National Park Service. The AT became one of the 16 National Millennium Trails in the year 2000. Finally, in 2014, the last major stretch of the uh, Appalachian Trail was formally acquired and protected by the National Park Service. Last year marked 100 years since Benton McKay's vision uh, of the AT. He passed away in 1975. So now the AT is maintained um, by about 31 different trail clubs and multiple partnerships, people volunteering their time to preserve and uh, make sure the trail is safe for hiking. The AT is managed by the National Park Service, the US Forest Service, and the ATC, which previously I said was the Appalachian Trail Conference. They had changed their name to the Appalachian Trail uh, Conservancy that is based in Harpers Ferry. So you are able when you're hiking the AT to visit the headquarters in Harpers Ferry of the ATC, have your picture taken um, in front of this giant sign. Um, it's, it's very monumental. It's kind of the mental halfway mark of the AT. Many of the mile, original miles of the AT have been rerouted due to um, very severe erosion. Uh, it used to go up and down every single mountain imaginable, uh, straight up, straight down, so made for some pretty rough hiking. So the trail um, has since been rerouted uh, around certain mountains that don't have any views or that might be a little too dangerous. The highest point of the AT is Cleanman's Dome in Tennessee. It's a very big um, touristy attraction. It's at 6,643 feet in elevation. The lowest point is Bear Mountain State Park at 124 feet in elevation. The fastest known times for self-supported uh, through hiking, which means that they don't have any help from outside. It's Joe McConnelly, who was a Nobo hiker. Uh, he hiked it in 45 days, 12 hours, and 15 minutes. The second fastest person was Heather Anish Anderson. Don't come at me if I mispronounced her trail name. I'm sorry. Uh, but she was a Sobo or southbound hiker. Um, she hiked it in 54 days, 7 hours, and 48 minutes. It's just crazy to think. Really pushing some miles there. The fastest known supported hikes is Carol Sa Sabi, Sa Sabe. Again, don't come at me. <laughs> she was a northbound hiker who hiked it in 41 days, 7 hours, and 39 minutes. Um, the fastest Sobo hiker, southbound hiker, is Carl Meltzer, who hiked the trail in 45 days, 22 hours, and 38 minutes. The oldest recorded attempt is Dale Sanders, trail name is Greybeard, at 82 years of age, but has since been beaten by MJ Ederhart, trail name Nimblewill Nomad, um, who hiked the trail at 83 years of age. I can't believe this next one because it's just, it's just wild. You'll see. The youngest recorded hiker of the trail, her name was Juniper Netberg, trail name The Beast, who hiked the trail willingly at four years of age. That's the same age as my son, basically. That's just crazy. Um, to all of my sciencey folks, um, the AT is home to about 2,000 rare, threatened, endangered, or, and sensitive plants and animal species. Plants that are on the trail that you could see include oak, tulip trees, maple, birch, beech, conifers, and subalpine plants. Usually you see those in the Great Smoky Mountains, Virginia and the North Carolina and Tennessee border. Um, many of the lowland forests are considered second growth because at one point the trail had been logged. The trees that are on the trail now aren't necessarily the trees that were on the trail when it first became the trail. 
Um, but there are some places where you can find some old growth. Um, those places include Massachusetts, on the Massachusetts Connecticut border, and in Maine. Animals that you can expect to see are black bear, timber rattlesnakes, copperhead, deer, elk, moose, beaver, squirrel, river otter, chipmunk, porcupine, which that's one I'm really excited to see, hope I do, bobcat, fox, boar, woodchuck, raccoon, coyote, turkey, grouse, ravens, um, two different species of eagles, uh, wood duck, three different species of owl, three different species of hawk, and warblers. There are more than three million people that hike segments of the trail each year. This year alone, there are 1,183 registered as northbound hikers. So these people have already started their hike. They start early in the season, like March, February, um, and some of them are starting to finish now. So congratulations, good for you guys. There are also 198 registered flip-floppers which is where you start in the middle and you hike either north or south and then you go back to the middle and hike the other way. Then there are 169 southbound hikers registered and I'm one of them. <laughs> um, it's so crazy. We are in the single digits of my countdown now um, before I leave just wild. I feel like I'm not ready, but at the same time I am ready. It's a very confusing feeling. I hope you liked this video. If you want to follow me on my journey, uh, make sure you subscribe, you like the video, and then you get, um, you click the little bell for the notifications. I will have a delay in putting videos out just for my own safety. I don't want anyone to just know where I am at that exact moment through my videos. Be patient. There will be moments where I won't have hardly any service so um, I might upload several videos at one point. I'm gonna try and record every day so you can see a daily log of my trip. If you have any questions let me know in the comments below. I'll, if I get enough questions I'll do a Q&A video. Um, but yeah, see you out there. Bye!